Hi, I'm Zirfall, and welcome to New Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing... Police Quest 3. The Kindred. It's been a while since we've played a Sierra Adventure game, and I uh, was originally going to wait until I was done playing some of the other games we got going. Mainly uh, Metal Walker. But I just couldn't wait. I wanted to play this game. I'm excited to get back into it. It's been a long time. I still... I don't think I ever beat this one. I got most of the way through it, but we never had the hint book when I was a kid. I got stuck a few places. But today's the future and we have the internet. So if we get stuck, obviously you guys can help out if you have ideas of what to do. And I can always check an FAQ if we really get stuck. But... Let's go into the intro. Hello, I'm Jim Walls, retired California Highway Patrol Officer and designer of the Police Quest series. With Police Quest, you're not just watching some movie star portray the glamorous part of police work. As Detective Sonny Bonds, you're the man behind the badge. It's up to you to learn and follow correct police procedure to make the right decisions in life and death situations. His hands twitch so weird. Especially that one. In real police work, you have to know when to be a hero and when to rely on caution and use other team players on the force. Some of the incidents in Police Quest 3 are based on actual events that occurred during the course of my career. I managed to survive them. Let's see if you can do as well under pressure. Here's a situation you're about to be walking into. Lighten, once a quiet and peaceful little town, has been growing like a weed. There is new industry, good jobs, and a decent standard of living. Unfortunately, progress is not without its side effects. Poverty and crime are going up as fast as the new cultural center. Homicide detective Sonny Bonds and his wife Marie are still on a honeymoon high from their wedding a few years back. I see he's not blonde anymore. Marie's got a good job at Oak Tree Mall, and the two have a beautiful new home. As Sonny, as for Sonny, he was promoted to, de to Detective Sergeant with the Lighton Police Department. As the story opens, Sonny just finished his sergeant's training and is back on duty. Overburdened as the department is, he's assigned to the traffic division for a bit. Seems traffic's always understaffed. Which is where we got our start with Sonny in the first place in the first game. Well, that's Sonny's life, and it's a good one, worth protecting. And now, it's time for you to assume the role of Detective Sunny Bonds. I happen to know you're in for a heck of a day. And it's 1406. And actually, if you don't read through the title and you skip it, you get an extra six minutes. It's only 1400 hours when you show up. So, this is one of the later CR games that has the... Let's see what items we have. We already have our wallet, police or uh, police issue gun, and handcuffs. We can look at them. Oh, a Beretta 9mm handgun. Handcuffs, stainless steel, and 10 bucks. Um, it's one of these ones where they have different icons that you grab and then you click on things to go. Also, their scaling isn't the best in this game, so sometimes you just suddenly shrink way before you're supposed to and then eventually match the scenery. It looks kind of funny, actually. And we need to grab this report out of our desk. What form is it? It's a department departmental disciplinary action form with a note attached. The note from the lieutenant reads, Bonds, please interview Officer Pat Morales regarding a complaint. The complaint alleges that the officer used profanity and verbally abused him during the issuing of a citation, determining d disciplinary action, if any, based on your interview. Leave this form on my desk when you're done. Hey, point sounds. Nice. Head back to the foreground and move on to the next room. You gotta click right on the edge. There we go. And this door's already open, actually. So we just need to walk in. Actually, click lower. If you click too high, it actually thinks you're trying to walk around the back. And there goes the shrink action again. 
the first thing we need to do is look at these people. Who are they? Carl Law. Carl's a real cut-up. It's Officer Joseph Banks, young and smart, takes his job very seriously. Here's Pat Morales. She's a tough cookie. And Officer Kevin Miller. He's one of the old school cops. So let's talk to Morales first. Morales, I need to have a word with you in my office after this afternoon's briefing. Okay, so what did I do this time? Wait, don't tell me. Another complaint from some moron who thinks he was the victim of police brutality. Unfortunately, we don't get to click through those, so they're going to be going pretty quickly. Maybe I can turn the text sound down. I should be done. You begin the briefing. Good afternoon, people. I'll be filling in for Sergeant Jaco ja ja while he's on vacation. He advised the afternoon shift of the procedural information and announcements listed on the clipboard and closed by saying, Have a safe shift. And think about the right hand approaches a cop. Damn it, Sonny, you talk too fast. Oh. Anyways, here's one of the funny rooms where you don't scale at all. So if you walk to the back corner, you are a very tall man. Let's see what uh, this guy's got to say. Officer Joe Banks responds after being interrupted from his report writing. Gee, Sarge, I'd really like to finish this report. Not looking up, Officer Banks says. Please don't break my concentration. And now he just ignores us. Oh, well. We can take the back room way back to our office. Whoa, we're tiny. Let's hope she showed up. We kind of floated in the air there. Yep. Yep. And actually, real quick, can we save the game? I just want to try something. So this is LP1. You have a serious talk with Morales. I have a complaint alleging that you verbally abused one of the violators you stopped. The complaint states that you yelled and screamed and used profanity. So, what do you want from me? The guy was a jerk. He'd have liked to do more than file a complaint, if you know what I mean. Whoa, that one went by real quick. The timing on this is weird. Alright, why don't you tell me what happened? I pull a guy over, right? He's going 75, maybe 80 in a 50 mile zone. I walk up to the car and boom, right off. Right away, he starts eyeing me and lipping off. I'm to put up with that crap? You ask Officer Morales directly. Did you raise your voice and use profanity with men or not? Look, you try being a woman cop for just one day. Then tell me how to do my job. Truthfully, I don't remember what the hell I said. But whatever it was, I had a damn good reason. Okay, Morales. That's it for now. Get back on duty and see if you can keep this civil in civil servant. Huh? Sure, Sarge. Whatever you say. You think about what you've learned regarding regarding the civil complaint. So we get to pick what we want to say here. And the reason why I saved it was because I want to use something wrong and see what happens. If it actually does anything or if the game's gotten a little nicer about game overs. No. Yep. So all that really happened was we didn't get the points. Well, let's get the points. Restore. Restore. What options do we have here? Detail. Hmm. No, that should all be fine. Okay. Play. We can click through this pretty quickly, actually. So, to get the points, you know that she yelled at the guy. So, let's sustain the complaint against her. We got point sounds. 
Now we have eight points. See, we would have lost five points not doing that. And we have more stuff in our desk now. Hey, it's a requisition form for a computer access card. We need that to access our computer. If we try to use it now, even though it's our computer, there's new security in place. And you need a computer access card first. So let's go up to the third floor. Second floor is just the change room. And the top floor is the data center and stuff with the typical IT jerk from this time period. People perceive the IT guys as jerks. Let's head up. Let's around a little bit here. Behind their glass wall, dispatch is busy monitoring the police band. The size of the department's main computer banks always astounds you. The table holds various computer magazines, none of which interest you. Except as a person. That's Mike's desk. It's his in-out basket. Let's give him a talk. The head technician, Mike Downs, stops his work and says, Listen, Sarge, I'm a very busy person. Unless you're here on official business, I don't have time for you. If you don't have your access card, you're out of sync, man. Man, what are you thinking? You're out of sync. I can't let you access my data without the right authorization sequence. These discs don't spin without the right paperwork. Come back when you've got the requisition form. Which we already have. Let's hand it to him. Hey, no problem. You got the new Mark V model, right? What a you? It goes from 0 to 30 megahertz in 3.5 seconds. Wow, 30 megahertz. And it has a 4 megabyte memory capacity, XGA graphics, and a 5 second network, millisecond network time. You wait for Mike to shut up, but like a streak of bad luck, he keeps going. Just don't spill coffee on it, man. You should have seen what I had to go through when Chief dripped ice cream all over his. Yuck. Oh, there's a card. Logs a new card and it's on the desk now. Can we grab it or is he going to keep talking? Okay, Bonds, here's your card. It goes in face up, arrow first. I know that's a little hard for you cop types to handle, but you'll figure it out. It's real simple, man. Just boot up your machine and stick in your card. All right, now oh, he mumbles to himself. I'm getting sick and tired of cops who don't return things. He's on with the dispatch. Get on the radio and tell that dimwit Banks to get the tracking device back to me. Dispatch responds. Eventually? Officer Banks says he needs the tracker for three more days. He hangs up in disgust. I guess this is the person here they were talking to. Let's hit the button. And here's one of the more annoying parts of the game. We have to wander around until they actually call us. So we're going to go down to the change room here because we know, well, I know. And now you do too, that they're going to call us eventually. So first thing first, we're going to go into the supply cabinet and get some supplies by shrinking down to supply cabinet size. Grab some batteries. Grab some flares. How do I get out of this? Oh, I can't use the pointer. I have to close it. Nope. Nope. Walk. There we go. And oh, in our bag we have batteries and flares. So let's go into the change room. This one looks a little nicer than the other one. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, that lady ought to be in professional boxing. Guess she went in at the wrong time. Whoa, that little risque there. You men are all alike. Well, at least we didn't get game over. In the earlier games, you probably would have been punched in the face, slapped with a law with a sexual harassment case, and uh, not allowed to return. 
Now, what was my combination? Oh, yeah, I wrote it down on the inside cover of my police manual that came with the game. And it is, I believe, 776. That's right. We get our flashlight, our notebook, and our nightstick. Oh, and to close it, you have to click on the locker. So now that we have the flashlight, actually, we can throw the batteries in it so that it actually works. And move along. Let's head up back to the offices and see who else is around. Oh, not three. No. Oh, well, hopefully it helped pass some time for dispatch to call us. Man, he only really walks in two directions, or north, south, east, and west. He doesn't seem to walk on angles very often. Unless we're in these rooms, then he totally does. And then he only walks on angles. Oh! Please call dispatch at once. That's the fastest I've had that happen. That's actually pretty lucky. We didn't even have a chance to go on the computer yet. Let's take our seat. And see what dispatch wants to talk about. Sonny, we need you to drive out to Aspen Falls to respond to a call. All other units are occupied. You can take the cop off the street, but you can't take the street out of the cop, eh, Sonny? Oh well, it's getting stuffy in here anyways. Time to roll. And we are going to roll out next time on Let's Play Police Quest 3. I'm Zerfall, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you there.